dog friendly adventure, we check out the Redcliffe Peninsula. Starting at the Woody Point Jetty, we make our way up along the coastline to end up at Queen's Beach North. One of the reasons we came here was to check out the remains of an old Navy gunboat, which had been purposely beached along the shore. The kids had more fun climbing the nearby cliff face than viewing the shipwreck. We later made the call to stop walking along the path as it was way too hot for Luna's paws. So we cheated and drove for the rest of the day. We all agreed a dip at the local lagoon should be our next destination. We tried to walk Luna under shady areas on the way to the lagoon. Even though we arrived late in the afternoon, the pavement was still very hot to the touch. From the short sections that we actually walked through, we could tell the full way along the coastline would have been beautiful. So there was a bit of a dilemma when we arrived. We probably should have known that dogs were not permitted at the lagoon, but being such a hot afternoon, the kids weren't backing down from a swim. So my husband took one for the team and waited outside with Luna. It wasn't all bad for them. They got to relax in the shade while enjoying the bay views. After the lagoon, we walked through the main part of Redcliffe. Redcliffe is the home of the Bee Gees, so we had to check out Bee Gees Way. It is a unique walkway, honouring the Bee Gees with their own statues, photos and even a musical light show. We also wanted to check out the Redcliffe Jetty, but dogs were not permitted, so we grabbed lunch and carried on to our final stop. Queen's Beach North at Scarborough is an off-leash beach that is currently under a trial period until March. But while we were there, a local ranger confirmed that they wanted to proceed with it permanently. Thanks for watching another dog friendly adventure with Luna our Labrador. For more dog friendly adventures, subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos.